Alright, what's going on guys? Trev back again, here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a video giving my thoughts on probably one of the strangest characters we have ever had in The Walking Dead, anything, TV series, comic book series, whatever the case may be, and that is of The Walking Dead television series, Season 4, Lizzie. All right, and if anyone has not seen The Walking Dead all the way up to current date, this one will contain spoilers for the television series up to The Walking Dead Season 4, Episode 10, which was called Inmates. So this is one that I've kind of touched on a little bit before with some of the things uh, that have happened in Season 4. Uh, we did one talking about the rats, who was feeding the rats, and... Um, I, you know, and that video was kind of talking a little bit about Lizzie because it seems to me most likely that she was the one that was doing it. Um, now, this one is, I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for, you know, her choices and the things she did in our most recent episode, Inmates. But uh, I, I just had to get my thoughts out there because it, it was so strange <laughs> to see. So, okay, let's start from the top. So we have this character who's introduced at the beginning of The Walking Dead Season 4, which is Lizzie. She's not previously in the series. We are to assume that she was basically taken from Woodbury, I guess, is where we're, we're to assume she's from, brought to the prison to live with Rick and the other group, basically has her and her sister and has no one else. Uh, Carol essentially takes care of her and her sister and basically acts like an adopted mother type thing or, um, you know, surrogate mother, so to speak, to them, since, of course, they don't have their actual real one. Now, they did, I believe, have their father who died fairly soon, The Walking Dead Season 4, and then after which, um, you know, they they're basically were stranded when Carol was was essentially removed by Rick or kicked out and then we're basically left with the two of them by themselves and with the rest of Rick's group but not really having any strong attachments to anyone so to speak. Uh, throughout the season we have uh, some confusion from uh, Sasha near the fence with the walkers over who is someone f possibly feeding them rats, What what's going on here. Later on again we see Tyrese finds some kind of experiment with, uh, or not experiment, but just, you know, a, a, a rat or something of the sort hacked up um, right before the governor attacks and too far gone. So, you know, we're wondering all the way through, you know, who did it? What's the situation? You know, what's going on here? Um, also, her behavior has been strange at times. She'll put her foot in blood and, you know, kind of turn it around type thing. Um in addition to that, she's a murderer, <laughs> which, granted, it was in war, it was at war at battle. But her and Mika did sh save Tyrese by shooting down those two characters from the attacking governor's group. Um, and what else? Let's see what else we have to add from earlier on this season. Um, she is, seems to be confused based on dialogue we've had in the series over uh, zombies and whether or not they're really dead, what they are, this type of thing. And she doesn't really see them as cut and dry as Carl does, as just being plain old, just dead. She sees them as alive in some kind of capacity or something. She's just messed up, her sister says. So we begin the second half, uh, second half of The Walking Dead season four. She's not in the first episode because it concentrates after on Rick and Michonne and Carl. And then of course in Inmates she gets a big role as we see her come back in and she's with Tyrese. They've got the baby, her and Mika. And essentially Tyrese, the first time he lets her out of his sight for even you know, 30 seconds or a minute or whatever it was. Um, she is tasked with the responsibility of holding the baby, baby Judith, while he goes off to rescue someone who's screaming because they're in peril and figures, you know, they should be okay and they cannot, you know, Mika and her back to back, they can run towards him if they need to. Mika seems to be good at running, so it shouldn't be a problem. So then we have probably the most bizarre scene in the entire Walking Dead television series as... You have walkers seemingly coming towards, or they are coming towards them. Mika lets Lizzie know. Tyrese is off fighting. In the meantime, she's she's holding baby Judith, and then she starts to tell her to shut up, basically, or, or cover her mouth. And she's a baby. She's going to cry. She doesn't understand the world and what's going on. So, I mean, granted, you know, you might want to try to maybe hush her up or, you know, something of the sort. So she starts to, to stop it, but not only is she just covering her mouth, but she's covering her nose too. <laughs> so she's basically 
uh, suffocating this baby to the point where it's going to pass out or, or something of the sort, you know. Um, very dangerous to do something like that, you know, uh, especially in a zombie apocalypse. Because if she passes out or something, I mean, she's she's not that old. She could die if you, if you, you know, stop her from getting oxygen for, you know, a minute. She, you know, she might die just from that, right? Um Plus, they, you know, they're they're in peril too. There's zombies all over the place. Not like if something like that did happen, it's not like they'd be able to, you know, um, you know, save her or anything. You know, she'd be kind of screwed because they'd have to be running or whatever they'd have to do uh, from the walkers that were around if Carol wasn't there. Let's say, right? So, because they didn't know at that time that she was. But then Mika tries to get her to move. She's trying to tell her, hey, there's there's walkers coming. There's walkers coming. We see the like, kind of like zoom effect type thing of how everything else is kind of blurred out. And you see her there. And she's basically seemingly suffocating this baby. Um, I shouldn't laugh about it. It's, uh, I mean, it's it's such a strange thing. It, it, okay. To put yourself in her head. She's a dumb little girl. And she's twisted as hell. It's almost as if she thinks that, you know, this baby is a hindrance and she doesn't want her to be there. So she's going to suffocate her. Right. And just do that. And she's asphyxiated on her. She doesn't even notice the walkers coming because she's so asphyxiated on her and doing what she's doing. And it doesn't seem like she has any remorse about it. She's a grade A sociopath, so to speak, who doesn't, especially at a young age, which is which is strange doesn't seem to, to have any kind of empathy or um, conscience to uh, or, or super ego to stop herself from doing this. She doesn't feel guilty about it, and she doesn't care. She's just going to go ahead and, and do that. Luckily, Carol arrives, <laughs> because if she didn't, uh, Judith would probably be dead by now. Um, and, and yeah, I mean, what else? I mean, that's basically it. Uh, luckily, Carol comes back. She you know, sees it and snaps her out of it takes baby Judith and everything seems to be okay. But we have the beginning of one of the strangest characters in all The Walking Dead. She's kind of like the comic book series version of Ben who kills his brother um, in in the books. Now, that doesn't mean that, you know, I'm spoiling what's going to happen in the series, like Lizzie's going to kill her sister Mika. That might That may not be the case. She may not. However, she may try to kill the baby again, <laughs> which is just, oh, I don't, I, uh, I don't know. This, this season has more of a horror feel than any season previous. And that scene right there was pretty terrifying and discomforting to watch. Now, where exactly they're going with her or the, you know, what we're going to see with her in the future, uh, she's so twisted. I got to think that at some point in time, she's got to be ousted. Right. You know, unless she can fix her head and, you know, figure out what the hell's wrong with her. She if she sees any character that's weak in the group, she's likely to kill him. And and this kind of relates back to the Karen and David thing. Carol took the blame for killing um, Karen and David. But a lot of people have speculated that is it possible that Lizzie was the one that killed them? OK, because they were sick. They couldn't defend themselves. So she came in with a knife and just stabbed him in the head. Right. They wouldn't be able to stop her. You know, they were they were, you know, especially if she went into her her psycho fixation mode, radio blur and the whole thing, you know, like a I don't know. I mean, so I, I think that that theory makes a lot more sense now after we've seen this recent scene. And because we have that whole group together, that dynamic is really interesting of Tyrese and the, and the others, Carol, not knowing that Carol was the one that did it or did she really do it or was it really Lizzie? And what would he do about it if he found out? You know, oh, man, so interesting. But anyway, to give my thoughts on this character and after what we've seen, I hate her. <laughs> At first, I was like, you know, how she talks down to her sister and stuff. I was like, I, you know, she's interesting. I kind of like her. And then I saw the thing with the baby. And I was like, oh, man, I hate her. I hate this character. She's like worse than the governor in terms of um, just no guilt, not caring at all, and just... Oh, man, just so brutal. So anyway, it was one of the most horrifying scenes in the whole show, I think. And, um, you know, I'm really interested to see what happens with her and, and what she does. I'm sure she's going to kill somebody else sooner or later. It seems to her like she's she likes to do it or she thinks it's the right thing to do or something. I, I don't know. She's really messed up. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I don't like her. I, I mean, I think she's an interesting. She's a good bad guy. You know, uh, she's an interesting character. But do I want to see her killing babies? No, <laughs> of course not. Um, so I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens with her. Um, 
you know, will she survive all the way through season uh, season four? I, I mean, I don't know. We've got a good number of episodes left, and it seems like she's going to have a heavy concentration in the second half, especially if she gets to be a part of a new sanctuary-type group and how she would fit into something like that. I just I just don't know. Anyway, I'm just interested to heck to see what happens with her next. I hate her to bits. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I can't stand her. I hate her to bits for what she's doing and what we're going to see her do, and I just pray that they don't go the route to have her actually do it and finish what she was trying to do in that episode. That would just be, oh, that would be off-putting. <laughs> Wouldn't that be off? Oh, that would be so weird. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about Lizzie. Do you hate her like I do? Do you like her as a character? You, you got to admit, she's interesting. If she's just a there to be a bad guy, she, she's a good bad guy within the group, internally to the group. She's a, she's a, she's a shit disturber. She stirs the pot, so to speak. Uh, even though how crazy she is and how much we hate her, we should hate her. Um, but interesting, it really, really interesting. Let me know what you guys think about that. What you think is going through her head, and uh, what what type, you know, which issues exactly you think she has, or or or, or how you would break down her uh, obviously disorder or you know mental mental disorder, whatever you want to classify it as, so, sociopath, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, those are my thoughts on her, my thoughts on the situation. Man, so much to talk about this week, so many interesting topics. If you guys have any more, feel free to send me a private message. I'm going to keep right on going, and I think I should have one almost every day this week should have a Walking Dead topic. I'll call it here. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you tomorrow for the next one. This is Trev. Say peace.